Hey, what's going on everyone? Whackjob14 here, you can call me Clark. Today we're bringing you another episode of The Armory, continuing on with the Battlefield 1. Uh, today we're going to talk about the SMG-0818. Hmm, interesting gun. First off, like always, we talk about the history, then we talk about the actual gun in the game. So first off, the history of the SMG-0818. This was a highly experimental German SMG based on the very common MG-0815. Air-cooled, of course. No one really knows who made it officially, like name-wise, um, and that's kind of why we don't really know the actual name of it. Because, you know, usually an arrogant SOB makes a gun and then names it after himself, as we've learned very often in this series. One it does exist, though, so we do know it was an actual gun. It exists in Tulane State Tula, sorry, State University in Russia. Uh, there was a picture of it online, and then this man, some random guy, to my knowledge, random from my studies, I couldn't find a name or Reddit username or anything like that, uh, found the gun in one of the deep archives at this university and took more pictures of it. The one that exists now does not have the drum that you see on the bottom left of the gun. It is without this, so if you look up the picture, you just see just the barrel and the chambering uh, location and the stock. That's all you see. You don't get the drum barrel at all. But you can still make the assumption and Battlefield easily made the assumption of how it worked and that's actually pretty accurate of the you know examples that we see. Um, so that's it for the history. Not a whole lot there. Uh, to On to the gameplay. Uh, to get this though, uh, you have to do a couple tasks for the factory setting uh, version, sorry, the factory version, you had to perform 15 kills with the MP18 trench and then 10 kills with the anti-tank grenade. Simple. Uh, for the optical, 50 kills with the automatico trench version and then destroy 5 tanks with the anti-tank mine. The anti-tank mine one might take a little bit if you haven't gotten it already. I would suggest go to any operation and then every time you die and like you respawn and you get filled up with your ammo, place them near an objective not on it and not in plain sight like if you're on Amien don't put it just in the middle of the street um, I did this on one of the Russian DLCs and every time a crater would appear through a grenade or something I would put in the AT mine in the crater on the edge of it so the tank would still hit it a little bit when it dipped into the crater and it would always get it um, so that that'll help you there if you haven't gotten already uh, in terms of the versions I like I like the factory better than the optical. I'm just not a big optical fan in Battlefield 1. Uh, you can see that throughout the series and just through my gameplay. I usually have the factory, a carbine, or a sniper variant. I don't usually do the optical variants of any gun. Fires a crap ton of ammo though. Uh, 450 rounds per minute, uh, supposedly. You know, don't know how much that is to go on uh, for, you know, actual usage of it. Uh, but for using it, I enjoyed it. Uh, the gameplay you're seeing here is me on MEN's playing Frontline, and this is me using it for the third time, I believe, after unlocking it, after it came out in the Russian DLC, in the name of the Tsar, a nice teabag douchebag. Um, and I enjoy it. I think I will use it more often. Um, this gameplay is a little bit rough for my usual stuff. I've been playing a little bit too much uh, Destiny 2. Uh, I'm trying to get my light level up. I, that's off subject, I know, but that's just kind of why, you know, it. I even, I think I can actually see in the gameplay of how much slower I am in terms of overall. And I think that's one mistake I made when I need to make these videos. I need to do a lot when I'm still in the battlefield thing. Uh, but right there, though, I just want to point out something real quick. We essentially shot each, shot each other at the same time, I think, and he had the MP18 trench and I had the factory version of the SMG 0818 and I think that's a good sign that both of us can actually kill each other you know do the trade-off uh, death blows which means my gun is pretty darn close to his gun and I would say behind the automatic code for automatic rifles in the game the MP18 is right there so I would say that's a really good sign if you want to have any sign of it doing well also hit fire as well um, so give it a try if you haven't got it already, and if you do have it, you know, might as well try it. I mean, you got it, so try it out. Uh, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you learned something. 
I hope you like what you see. If so, you could hit that like button, or you could subscribe, maybe, if you're so inclined. And I'll see you in the next episode of The Armory. Catch you later. We have armed objective apples. Bring it to